Hey guys, it's Molly. I just wanted to do a simple pour tonight, kind of back to the basics. Uh, an easy Dutch pour with some purples and uh, grays and some Payne's gray and blue, just something, you know, beautiful. Sometimes you just need to pour just to have a good time, not to always be reinventing a wheel or, you know, trying something new. I did that a lot this, this past week, tried a lot of new things and a lot of them didn't go so well. So, you know, you just get back on the horse, you keep trying, you keep coming up with new stuff, but sometimes it's nice just to go back to kind of where you feel at home, right? So that's what tonight is about. So hope you guys enjoy it and I'll get started. Okay, you guys, I am back for another one. Uh, this one is just going to be a regular good old Dutch pour with some leftover colors that I've got. So I'm using actually like these two metallic grays, Payne's gray, purple, gold, and like a cerulean blue. So I think it'll actually be really pretty together, the color mixture. I was doing a balloon smash with those colors a little bit earlier. Um, just testing out some techniques and doing some stuff. It was actually a balloon um, roll, I guess you would say. And um, it came out pretty cool. I did it on like a painted background that I did. Um, and it came out okay. The balloon smash actually took over quite a bit of the painting, so it was kind of pointless for the background, but um, all right, almost there. So I'm just, I added a little bit of my house paint in just to thicken this up, but it's not my regular house paint mixture. And that was just because these were left over. Um, it was, I was just using white acrylics for this week, just to get back to, you know, the way I used to do things and make sure I could still do them, but Okay, so now I have to think about the design that I want to do because I've been doing like that snake shape and I haven't been like super loving that. The way I have to like blow it off the edges and I don't want to do that with this. I just want to kind of have it like an old school Dutch pour, you know? So I'm trying to think. I'm really just procrastinating by doing my edges. <laughs> okay, so let me. Okay, my thing is obviously running out. This is just to pop air bubbles. Okay, all popped. One little thing right there. Okay, I'm gonna get to get to pour in here so it doesn't take too long. I think maybe I'll do like a puddle and then a string and then a puddle. How about that? Something a little bit different maybe? Oh Lord, almost knocked over the paints. Puddle, string and then a puddle. Maybe, and then I can kind of blow it out like that. I don't know. Oh, I just got that in the paint. So this one's just a, just an easy one. Sometimes after I do a bunch of, like I try a bunch of new things, you guys don't always see them because let's be honest, half of them don't turn out well. And, um, Sometimes I just want to go back to like what I know, what's good. I don't know. Do you guys ever get like that? I'm starting to get a lot of paint in the middle and that is not what I wanted. So I think I'm going to be done. So yeah, do you guys get like, you try a bunch of new things, they either do or don't work out and then you're like, well crap, I just want to do something that I know that works well most of the time, you know? So that's where I was at. It happens.
did it again. I went straight across the canvas. That's why I've been doing an S shape because I don't like when it's just straight across the canvas like this. So, ugh, I'm gonna have to work this out. Hasn't kind of been my weekend for pouring, really. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I love the colors. Like, colors are phenomenal. I'm getting some of my little house paint cells, but I didn't add that much, so I'm not getting like a ton of them. favorite it's almost like I did one of those ghost swipes but with the blow dryer so I do like that part it's gonna be a lot more blowing ahead I don't know. I really, really like the way that that part came out right there. Yeah, it's pretty. Just not spectacular. <laughs> oh, there's my light. My ghost turned it back on for me. All right, I may blow a little bit on this side. Just give me a second. Okay, I like it a little bit better. I have a couple more spots that I may touch up later. Like, I don't like how that's dipping in, those two right there. But all in all, I like it much better because it's a little bit more random than what it was before. So let me take you down. Okay, guys, I fiddled with it. This is growing on me now. I really, I actually really like it now. Um, it's just that initial step before you, like, blow stuff out and do stuff to it. Like, I like that one hard line right there, but I don't like them all to look like that, all to look like petals of flowers. Like, I like them to kind of be wispy and kind of, I don't know, just, you know, not quite so, like, contrived. So, I definitely like this better. And I'll show you... the middle and I love the color combination there's you can never go wrong with that color combination um, the gray didn't actually show up that much which is interesting but I like it so oh I feel a little redeemed I felt like nothing was going right <laughs> So, all right, you guys, I won't bore you with any more of my time or your time. All right, thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye. Okay, you guys, this is how this one dried. I love it. And so you can see right in there how the shimmer is. My big head is in the way those cells right there. I mean, when they dry on the canvas that way, it's just, it's absolutely stunning to me. I don't know about for you guys, but it's just gorgeous. Gosh, oh, beautiful. So I'm really glad, let me see if I can steady my hand to talk to you, that I blew those parts out right there. It makes it just, so much more light and airy. And I'm just really, really happy with this piece. Happy with the colors, happy with the composition, happy with the cells, really. Everything about it, I love. My cat Jacob likes it too. <laughs> All right, you guys, so there you have it. Just going back to the basics a little bit having fun with something. This one made me happy. All right, you guys. Happy painting.